been a while since our last video and today we are going to study I'm going to teach you how to play Oblati Oblada by Beatles um, in a simplified in a simplified way more simplified way uh, I, I, I have decided to make it simple so that we can like tap our beginners at the same time I will play it I will teach you how to play it using a soprano because most of you guys are asking me if I if can, um, can I make a video a ukulele finger style video using a soprano and at the same time most of you I mean some of you are like I can say that I can't say that um, you're like complaining but some of you um, find it hard to play using a soprano ukulele but I think you just need to like um, continue practicing and familiarizing the instruments and you'll make music out of it. Anyways, thank you so much for the, subs the subscription, the likes, the comments, and for the continued support to our channel. I'm sorry because this, uh, this past few days I'm quite busy um, dealing with some other stuff because I need to work. If I don't work, I, uh, I, will, I will like starve myself. So... I hope you understand. But right now, I am going to teach you how to play Obladi Oblada by the Beatles using a soprano ukulele. Alright, so um, you can see the tabs um, down there. Now I will show you how to play Obladi Oblada by the Beatles. I, I have divided the song into four, um, four different parts that you can repeat. It depends how on how you're going to arrange the song. So we have the intro, the verse, the chorus, and the bridge. Okay, so uh, I arranged this specifically uh, for you to be able to play it using a soprano. Okay, so let's start with the intro. So the intro, I've made my own intro. I took the last part of the chorus and, make it, uh, and made it an intro. So it goes like this. Okay, so um, now if you can uh, play it the way I play my right hand, so you can just you can just pick the melody for a while, for now, okay, and then continue developing your right hand so that you can establish um, other other forms of techniques, All right? So the first thing to do is you do an F chord. You can see the tab there. You do an F chord, and then strum it down for uh, for a single time. So after that, you do an F chord, but with the um, third fret of the E string, something like this. This one, then strum it down. Okay, so. After that one, you can see there, one, zero, one, so, one, zero, one, okay? And then, after that, you're going to do this, so you're going to put um, the second, your, your point finger on the second fret of the C string, and leave the... G string and the A string, E string open. So, again. After that, you pick the same string once and then C chord. So, you play that. So either you can use your ring finger or your pinky finger. So. So again, normal, so you can do, you can do that for, let's see, twice, twice, and then you're good to go. So it's like, 
can do finger picking this one but if you can't do it now you can you can just practice for a while and then you can do this strum again so that's your intro after your intro um we do the verse we do the verse part so the chords that are being used in this song is C, G, G7, F, and then A minor 7. This one. Okay? So, for the whole song, it goes like that. So, for the verse, start with the C. Okay? So, the melody. Something like that. Now, you can see there, after a C, we're going to pick the open string of the E string five times so that easy so three four five after that second string of the c second fret of the c string and then zero and then g okay again normal okay so G after the G you're going to play an a, a G7 okay and two two one two zero two one two and then you pick the first string I uh, the first fret of the the E string five times after the G7 chord and then zero to C okay let's do it again slowly okay so G7 C right now after that we go to the second part of the verse Okay, you're going to add your ring finger on the third fret of the E string and then you're going to play like C and then pick the, the third fret five times. After that, you go 1, 0, F. So, F. After the, that F, you're going to Play the third fret of the E string and then the open string of the A string. So, after that, 3 1 0 or the E string. So, so, goes like that. So, okay. After that 3 1 0, you go 0, you go 0, 3rd fret, I uh, 3rd string, I mean the C string. Okay, so 0, C, G, C. Alright, so again. So if you're going to play it, the whole verse, it's like Okay? And if you're going to play it using finger picking, the pattern is like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, something like that. And it sounds like. Okay, the good thing using finger picking, you can have that timing. So, how do you do that? So, it's like. You assign your fingers, this one is your ring fingers for the E string, A string, 
your middle finger is for the E string, your ring your point finger or your index finger is for the C string, and your thumb is for the G string. So you pick the pick the necessary string and then you do this timing one two three four one two three four one two three four something like that. Okay. Now we go to the chorus. The chorus is easy. You're just going to play this part, this this tab passage. All right. So it's like zero open string of C and G, zero, and then C. So zero zero three. Zero, zero, three, zero, zero, three, and then you're going to play an A mi minor seven, but the but you're going to place your finger on the fifth fret of the G string. So again. Okay. So after that, you're going to play an F, but like the intro, you're going to add the intro. <laughs> okay, again. Intro. Alright? So after playing that part, after, um, wait, let's play it from... Um, from the second verse, then chorus. So it's like. Now, if you can't do finger picking, playing it like. Um, you can play it like this. So you have two options. You can do that both. You can do it both. All right. So the next part, the last part is the bridge. This is a very easy one. I divided it into three parts. You're going to play first part and then second part, back to the first part and then the last part. Okay? The third part. So it goes like F. So F and then first fret, first fret, E string, first fret, first fret. Third fret, zero A string open. So one one three zero. Okay, so F one one three zero three and back to the third fret. You're not going to change your their finger positions. One one three zero three zero three one zero. Okay, just just follow the tab. So. Okay, we're on the first part again. So the melody is Okay, so when you play it and then just just strum the whole chord while doing this 7531 transition. So it sounds like this. Get so after that, that seven five three one. After that, you go back to the first part and then G. This is the third part G, then G7, and then you go back to the verse. Okay, so I will play. I will play the whole the 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 whole set. Um, slowly you can play along. All right, so here it goes. Intro.
then after that, you can start all over again. I mean, from the verse and so on and so on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our ukulele finger style tutorial of OBD of Mega by the Beatles. Okay, so if you are not subscribed in this channel, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, like the video if it is likeable. <laughs> All right, and if not, tell me how what can I improve and etc. Cetera, and etc. Cetera, and et cetera. So I would like to thank my sponsors to begin with Tommy HD for the strings, HD strings. So if you're looking for a quality strings design for finger style, you can get HD strings. You can get them in Happy Music Ukulele Philippines. So you can just call them. Also this soprano. I bought this very cheap soprano in Happy Music Ukulele Philippines. It's a very cheap one, but with a good tone. You've heard it. It's playable. It's good. So you can just contact Happy Music Ukulele Philippines. The staff are so nice. They are so good. Okay, they will accommodate you and they deliver. Okay, or just go. I think it's Lalamo for Drop. And then, of course, Mr. Olin Bandila of Olin Bandila Ukuleles and Guitars for my ukuleles. Mr. Luthier Kao for my custom pinor. And my family. <laughs> my family, of course, my family. And of course, that. And you guys, uh, for the continued support. Uh, for watching my videos, liking it, comment, leaving a comment. So that's it. I miss you so much. I hope I'll, I can make another video on this day. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.